I'm gonna get you, little Enderman. You little- Oh, Jesus, no, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What's going on guys, my name is James, or thanks see ya, and welcome back to another Minecraft Mod Spotlight. And today we are going to be looking at the fantastic Minecraft Farlanders Mod. Or more accurately, we're actually going to be taking a look at the update for the Farlanders Mod. Because I have covered this mod once before on my channel. If anyone remembers back, maybe like four, five months ago, something like that, I can't quite remember. Uh, yeah, I did the Farlanders Mod for... Oh god, what was it? It must have been like 1.4s, maybe? I, it was a bit a while ago. But yeah, anyway, it's actually been updated a lot since then, and this is the current 1.5.2 version. I really, really enjoyed this mod the first time I did it. It was very cool, and it's been developed even further. Um, So what I'm actually going to do is there's quite a lot of features that I won't actually look at in this particular video, just because I've already done them in a lot of detail in the previous one. So what I'm going to do is link that video in the description section below. Uh, I highly recommend if you like this mod or if you want to go and try this mod out that you take a look at that video as well because it tells you all about the trading systems, uh, this, that and the other, and it's it's very, very cool. Um, but yeah, I'm actually going to do a little brief summary of that kind of stuff in this particular one, but if you want like a proper and detailed version, then uh, make sure you check that video out. But anyway, okay, so the Farlanders, the Farlanders. Basically what they are is they're kind of like a tribe slash clan slash species um, that have been kicked out of their world and now they live in our world of this beautiful Minecraft here yeah. and uh, yeah they, they basically generate in randomly generating structures in and around the world and there's lots of different types of them as we're going to look at in a second uh, you can also trade with them they have very unique trades they have their own currency which is rubies and uh, yeah they're really really cool so a little bit of a brief sort of Sort of a storyline, I guess. This came from the actual Wikipedia page. It says the Farlands were a place where the Farlander species used to live, but for an unknown reason, these lands disappeared. Ancient books refer to this incident as the work of God. Some say that God created his own realm and moved what was the Farlands to there. And this God is also described as a colossal being with large horns and limbs. So years have passed since the disappearance of the Farlands, and the Farlanders had to adapt. They stopped praising what they considered their God and started their own path. Eventually, they reached the overworld, and from that point, the Farlanders started to evolve. New species of Farlanders were born, such as the Enderman, the Ender Golem, and the Ender Minion. The Farlanders realized that to survive, they needed shelter, so they began to create their own houses. The evolution continued with the discovery of rubies, and they started to trade with each other. It wasn't long until the Rebellion Era. Seeking to have more power, uh, the Farlanders began to rebel against each other, um, that led to rebel. <laughs> Anyway, right, so this actual patch is called the Rebellion of the Farlanders, so um, that kind of really, really nicely sums up what this is all about. This is kind of like an Enderman-style species that lives in your world. For example here, this is a randomly generating hut. If I go inside this guy and right-click on him, as you can see, he, he, he wants, gives me rubies for iron boots, etc. But yeah, they've actually introduced loads of new mobs into the game, sort of different breeds and species of these Farlanders, which we're going to take a look at first, and then we're going to take a look at all the items. Um, so yeah, let's 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 take a look and see what we've got here. Um, right, let's start here. The spawn eggs are really really cool. I like these an awful lot. Um, yeah, we're actually going to start with the Wanderer. There we go. So this is the Farlander Wanderer. Hooah! <laughs> so as you can see, he's, he's kind of like a little little Farlandery Enderman. He doesn't sparkle or anything. Um, and yeah, he's got his like a little backpack that uh, he has there. So this is a passive mob. Uh, it spawns in all biomes, and it is in you know all. It's in the overworld dimension. It's, it's only found in here, so it's not in the Nether or the End or anything like that. And uh, you tend to find it around in the daytime. So the Wanderers are similar to the Farlanders, but instead of having a house, they wander around the world. So like villagers, they trade various items for the price of rubies and vice versa. Their trades are much cheaper in comparison with the trades from the Farlanders. So for example, anything that lives in a hut, uh, these guys are the guards, by the way. These these guys like guard the houses. Uh, I cover that a lot in the, the previous video, which is linked in the description. Um, but yeah, those are actually the, the Farlanders, whereas these are kind of like the outcasts, I guess. So this is one of the outcasts. His trades will be cheaper. Um, but I imagine that the stuff that he is giving might not be quite as good. Um, for example, there is one Farlander here called the Farlander Elder, which I will show you in a minute. Um, he was from the original one, but his trades are like the best ones that you can find. Um, so yeah, anyway, this is the Wanderer. He kind of just wanders around on his lonesome pack on back. And uh, yeah, hello sir. Okay, so the next one. 
we are going to be taking a look at is the Ender Minion. Now, the Ender Minion is quite cool because it's actually a sort of tameable creature. Um, so the Ender Minion is a tameable race of Enderman breed. In order to tame one, a player must use an apple. So, okay, okay. let's get an Ender Minion. Let's get ourselves an apple. There we go. And voila! What are you standing on? Oh, oh you look creepy. Very cool. What? Are you float? What? Really? Can't tell if this is a bug or if this is just awesome. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is the Ender Minion. Um, so yeah, what you do is actually you right click on the thing with apples. There we go. And then he gets these little like red bands. Um, which is really cool. It took quite a lot of apples to do that, and when he's tamed, he will emanate that that famous Enderman glow. But yeah, this guy is kind of like yours now, really. So yeah, once tamed, the Ender Minion will start to emit particles, and red wrists will appear. Um, to check his health, right-click on him with a piece of paper. So I'll do that. Let's check that out. It's kind of cool. It's like a little health checker. Where, where is paper? Oh, there it is. Cool, cool, cool. There you go. So as you can see, he's health 40 out of 40, armor 0 out of 10. Um, to make him stay or follow you, right click him with an empty hand, so he's going to stay right here, like so. To regenerate his health, feed him with the apples, uh, and then if a player feeds an Ender Minion with a golden apple, the Ender Minion will get a boost in health, protection, resistance, speed, and damage for a short amount of time. So you can kind of like buff your little minion. Let's do that, actually. Let's be nice and useful and, and golden apple. There you are! God, that's really loud. Um, so yeah, I don't really, yeah, he's just kind of like sparkling with a different color. So I guess he's like speed boosted. Uh, and yeah, the player can also give the Ender Minions a sword. It will make their attack strength and defense increase. So let's give that a go here. This is a sword. Yeah! That is so cool. So this is like our little buddy now. I um, wonder if he fights. Let's do something. Um, What could he fight against? Spider. I'm going to change it to your uh, survivor man, give him a punch. Go on, son! <laughs> go on, lad! Oh, it's a battle. It is a tough fight. Go on, go on! No, him! Go on! Get him! Damn it, you're useless! Go on! <laughs> He's following him. He's following him, to be fair. How about if I stop him? Are you going to hit him or just follow him? Uh, uh, there we go. Go on, son! You can finish him off. We can do this! Teamwork! Yeah! Nice work. This guy's really cool. I love the sort of hovering animation effect. Very, very cool indeed. Nice little mob there. So uh, yeah, that's the Ender Minion, and that is one of the other mobs that have been added. So we're not finished there, because we've actually got a couple more. Uh, we have the next one which we're going to take a look at, which is the Rebel Farlander. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? No, it's not. It's the Looter. It's the Looter. Uh, let me just change back to creative mode here. So yeah, the next one is the Looter. Very school, very school, very cool spawn egg. I like this a lot. Um, so yeah, this is the, the Looter. Now this guy looks exactly the same as the the sort of like useful Farlanders that live inside these huts. So let me actually show you that. Um, let's have a look here. As you can see inside these huts, they you know they live in here like so. But as you'll notice, they kind of like emanate a bit of a glow from them. So as you can see here, this guy wants uh, ruby for glowstone dust, which is an awful trade. Uh, this this guy wants ruby for fourteen redstone. Um, but yeah, this guy is slightly tricksy because as you can see, he doesn't look the same. So yeah, the looters are very similar to farlanders, but they are not quite as peaceful. So the player can distinguish them from the farlander because they do not emit particles unless they are carrying a sword. The reason behind his name is. Is a very simple fact that when the player fights the looter, the looter tends to steal the player's sword to use it against him. So yeah, they attack Farlanders, Elder Farlanders, Wanderers, Villagers, and the players. They're a very hostile mob, but they will run away from the Ender Colossus, which is that big one that we saw in the distance over there, killing a cow <laughs> for no apparent reason. Why are you killing the cow? Oh, look, he's chasing the looter. Look, 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 look. <laughs> this demonstration in action. See, as you can see there, the, the looter is running away from the Colossus because the Colossus kind of, you know, wants to get rid of him. Recognizes he is like a hostile mob and he's trying to deal with him. Go on, son. Where are you? There you are. Go on, lad. Go on, finish him off. Oh, he's run away. So as you can see, there is the mod in action. Very, very cool indeed. Um, so let's actually have a go and see 
Let's see if we can, like, fight him or if he's going to steal a sword. So when a looter steals a sword, he'll start to emanate the particles of the Farlander. So I'm going to get this sword out here. I'm going to put one of these fellows down. and chase a grand mode. I'm just going to give him a punch. Oh, oh my god, straight away. <laughs> so as you can see, as soon as you hit him, he steals his sword. You aggro him. Uh, his head goes, like, crazy big. And um, I'm in creative mode here, so he's not actually attacking me. But, yeah, as you can see, very, very cool. If I do swap to survival mode. He will start to attack me, and God, he hits really hard. Ah, oh, great mode. So there we go. And uh, yeah, as you can see, he's a bit of a pain. Oh, give me my sword back. I'm gonna punch you, punch you to the wall. Oh, he's got him now. He's got him on the ropes. Oh no, I've destroyed the house. Sorry. Damn it. Why didn't I just ah cactus? Yeah. Me and the cactus, we cool. Oh God, we're not cool. I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, that is the looter. So that's very, very cool. Now the next one here is called the uh, the Rebel Farlander. Now, as I did sort of briefly mention a little bit earlier on in the video, this kind of update is focusing on the rebellion style of these Farlanders, which is why the so many hostile mobs and stuff have been added. Um, but yeah, this is kind of just like uh, similar to a Wanderer, but they wear a mask. So you usually see them spawn in groups. Uh, these are hostile mobs again. They will attack Farlanders, Elder Farlanders, Wanderers, Villagers, and you. But they'll run away once again from the Colossus and an Iron Golem. So if the player gets damaged by an Elder Farlander, he will get poisoned for a few seconds. So this is kind of just like a generic style mob. Uh, they spawn at night. And uh, yeah, where, where are you? Hmm, Rebel Farlander, there we go. So this is just the Rebel Farlander here. So as you can see, kind of a slightly different colour. Uh, this mask here is to, like, imitate the Colossus, which is the big fellow, which is the guard. So, like, the Colossus is kind of on your side-ish. Although I do believe he will actually attack you, unless you've got a pumpkin on your head. Which I think was a feature in the last video I made. Uh, but yeah, these guys are kind of aggressive individuals. These will attack you on sight, basically, because they've rebelled! Urgh, God damn it, you rebelled! Urgh. That's what you get for rebelling. Um, so yeah, that's just the standard mob. Now we've actually got one more mob to look at before we take a look at the items. And this one is called the Mystic Enderman. Now I've saved this one for last because I think it's one of the coolest. Um, and uh, yeah, where are you? There she is. So, the Mystic Enderman. This spawns in all biomes in the overworld, spawns at night, and it's actually a hostile mob. Um, but yeah, the Mystic Enderman is a special type uh, among the Enderman species. He is a versatile mob um, that does different types of damage uh, when approaching the player. Upon death, the Mystic Enderman drops a Mystic Wand. Uh, we've got loads of Mystic Wands and stuff, which we're going to look at in a second. Um, but yeah, this guy has like a ton of... Okay, then... You're going to stay here. So as you can see, he looks very well. If you could see him, there we go. He has like a cape on uh, and he has the wand in his hand. So this is like a mystic enderman. I love the cape. It's That's really cool, actually. I didn't see that on the photo. Oh, yeah, I like that. If I could have a look at... <laughs> oh, there's a colossus there. I want to look at them a bit closer, but they're being, being tricksy. There we go. I think you've kind of seen the gist of things. So they've got the big wand in the hand, etc. Now, uh, I'm going to aggro this in a second. But yeah, these basically can do blindness, where the player gets blinded for a short amount of time. They can cause nausea. Um, they can use a falling trap, which means blocks of sand and gravel will appear in the sky and fall on top of the player. If the player doesn't dodge, he will get trapped and he will start to asphyxiate. Uh, he does weakness, which will make you weaker. He uses regeneration to heal himself. And he also uses a thing called an ore trap, which means he will... Um, random ore will sort of appear around the player and uh, the player can mine it before the mystic enderman attacks uh, and then the player will be able to gather the ore so he kind of like tries to trap you in ore and you have to like mine your way out otherwise he's going to get you so that sounds awesome uh what i'm gonna do is aggro him and try not to die oh god okay so that's that's uh that's that's that's, that's not good all right <laughs> okay so he hits really hard uh he's stolen all my items which is one thing i've noticed there um although it says i'm dead but I'm not. I'm still here. I am confused. So as you can see there, we have, um, we have, um, we had the blindness and we had the something else. There's a Colossus. No, 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 no. No, leave me alone. Leave me alone. God damn it. Ah, creative mode. Leave me alone. No. Okay, let's try that again. I want to, I want to try and see those ore traps. Those look really cool. Oh, do you know what I'll do? Do you know what I'll do? I'll um, go and put some some armor on. Go and put myself some armor on, like so. Eins, zwei, drei, vier, like that. And hopefully I'll be able to kind of survive a few more hits. I'm gonna have to get rid of him. Oh, God. 
Go on, son. Go on, lad. There we go. Yeah, those guys are really, like, they, they protect the Farlanders, but they also attack you, so it's kind of, you've got to be a little bit careful. Um, so let's try and... What? All right, let's try. All right, so this is blindness, obviously. Blindness. Where the hell did he go? Oh, he's over there. I really, really want to see the, the traps in action, so like the sand trap and the ore trap and stuff, so that's kind of what we're going to go for before we look at the, the items. Uh, if the guy doesn't stop, like, moving. Oh! Okay, um... Okay, um... Ore trap? Maybe? Oh! No, just disappear, okay. Um... <laughs> should I be at night and that'll help? Alright, I'll go in, I'll go in. Alright, this is darkness. Ow! This is this is darkness. This is getting stuck in a cactus. Ugh. Um, ugh. Oh god! Where are you? Where are you? There he is. Ugh. Man, you tricksy, tricksy little individual. Where are you? Uh, he's a... Okay, okay, okay. We cool. We cool. We cool. Whoop! We're not cool. Oh god! The blindness. Blindness again. Ugh. Ugh. Oh no! 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 Don't you start! No! No! Oh god, creeper, creeper. Oh! Nauseous, I'm nauseous! He's nauseous! Ah, oh, there's a zombie as well! No! Oh, you bring your buddies, it's no good, it's no good. Ah, oh, I killed it. Damn it, alright, hang on. Let me, let me deal with this. Oh. There we go. So this is the magic wand that they dropped, that's kind of a good example of that. I'm actually gonna spawn one more until we can see this trap. Is he gonna do the trap? Do the trap! Please. Please do the place do the trap. Um, I think falling trap would be cool to see. Um, I don't know if I don't know if you have to. I don't know. It might, might be quite rare. I mean, the, the effect poisons. I mean, they did work. Um, and obviously did drop the right item. But I'd I'd love to see one of the traps in action. This is the thing with with mobs that um. With mobs that do a lot of different attacks, which is what I found with the uh, the mutant mods, the mutant creatures mod, it's very difficult to get them to do all of them in one go, if you know what I mean. Um, so that's a bit of a shame if we can't see it, but yeah, yeah. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Why you not make sand fall? Hmm? Hmm? Oh, God. Okay. All right, you know what? You know what? We're done. We're done. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Oh, God. There. There. Yes, okay, so it did do it. There we go. So this is like he tried to basically encase me into the middle here. Um and then that would like right here, so that would leave me like suffocating basically. So that's a really cool attack. But yeah, anyway, okay, so those are the mobs. Now let's just cut away very quickly and I shall show you uh, the rest of the mod, which is just the weapons and bits and pieces. So yeah, see you in a sec. Okay, so welcome back, and now we're going to take a look at these items that drop from the mobs. And uh, these are kind of cool because we actually have four different types of wand, and we also have this thing here called a nightfall sword. Um, so these are actually drops that um, can come from mobs, basically. And there are a few sort of smaller mobs that are needed in order to craft some of these, but I do believe that the wands just fall as they are, which is kind of cool. Um, so yeah, let's actually take a look at them now. Um, so the first one here is actually the Nightfall Sword. So this is just like a crazy cool sword. Uh, it doesn't really do anything else really apart from slice and dice, but uh, as you can see, it's like, like pretty strong. Um, <laughs> kills stuff pretty quickly. But yeah, the cool thing about it is probably these wands actually. Um, so yeah, the first one here is the Mystic Wand. Now, ooh, okay, so this is... This is, ah, this is an invisibility one. So as you can see, I've been put invisible for a minute. Um, so yeah, I can go in cl completely vis invisible um, without the need for potions, which means stuff won't see me. This is really, really useful for those ender colossus that you see in the little houses, because of course you want to get inside them to do the trades with the villagers, but, well, I should say Farlanders, but the Ender Colossus will aggro um, when you go anywhere near them. So you could use this to sneak in and out of those buildings. So yeah, this, this invisibility wand is very useful. The next one we have here is the Regeneration Gem, which of course is, uh, this item is used to activate Regeneration, uh, what does that say, there's a 2 in the way, it has to end, okay, so I'm guessing this just regenerates, yeah, regenerates your health, so it's like buff one basically, really, really useful, especially because some of these mobs hit really hard, um, so you know, you've got to be careful, you've got to constantly have a look out on your food, um, so yeah, that's going to be very, very useful. The next one is the Teleportation Gem, which is kind of like an end of... I think it's like an ender, uh, an ender kind of orby thing, so... Um, it can only be used on stone or netherrack. Oh, I've used the wrong one. Oops, teleportation gem, there we go, so... 
Um. <laughs> okay, so it's taking me somewhere completely random now. Be very careful with this. It's, ah, look, there we go. Look, there's another... Uh, it's one of the big spawns. Uh, this has actually got the, the Elder in, so I'm going to show you that quickly. That was really useful, actually. Uh, but yeah, that will teleport you <laughs> quite far away, I think. Uh, I'm not sure of the block radius of that teleportation one, but I think it does take you fairly far. Um, so yeah, this is another one of the larger structures that spawn, and this one here is the Elder. He has a beard and stuff. He's one of the cooler looking ones. But if you right-click him here, as you can see, he will give you nine rubies for a block of ruby, which is awful. Uh, <laughs> so occasionally you'll find them that do really, really good trades. So it's just a case of exploring, really. Um, but yeah, that's one of the elder ones. And finally here, we have the Mystic Ore Wand. Now, this can be used on stone or netherrack. And uh, yeah, let's go and find some stone. Let's go and find some stone. Uh, could do with like a wall of stone or something, actually. Here we'll, here we'll do. Fantastically. Right. So we have some stone here. Now, what happens if we right-click this then? Ah, so it will change it into random types of ore. So as you can see from that, definitely coal is set to the most common. However, we also did get an emerald block, we got a lapis block, and a redstone block. So that's actually really, really good wand um, in terms of getting resources and stuff. It's very cool that it does have it in kind of rarity, I think. And so let's try a couple more and see what we get. Coal, 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 diamond, gold, coal, lapis. So that's really, really cool. I like that wand a lot. It's very, very colourful, actually. Um, but yeah, that's that's a really cool item. So yeah, that is it for the update for the Farlanders mod. Uh, if you enjoyed this, please make sure you check out the first video as well, where I give loads of information about the structures, about the other mobs that we haven't looked at, and about all of the different processes in this mod. Uh, and uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. So yeah, this is the first time you've ever seen any of my stuff. My name is James, or thanks, see ya. And if you'd like to see some more, please consider subscribing to the channel or checking out some more of my content. And if you do, I really, really hope you enjoy it. Also, if you enjoyed this video, Video, please leave a like that would be super appreciated but until next time thank you once again for watching it has as always been a pleasure thanks and see ya